Men Square Inspirational Motivational Videos for the Modern Man Indeed, but how far should a man go? Should he go as far as to get into debt? Have you ever seen a man get himself into debt for his woman? He spends beyond what he earns because he honestly loves her enough to want to give her the world. But the reality is no man is rich enough to buy the love of a woman. Her time and body, yes. Her love? Unless you're paying her to lie that she loves you. But no, you can't buy the love of a woman. See, as men, many of us have the need to give. The need to give to women, not just that, but the giving of things to make her feel better, to make her smile. But beyond making her smile, it's almost that thing of wanting to please her. Please her in any way possible. Because you feel she deserves it. See, some men, they wear it with pride, how they please their woman. And why wouldn't they? As I've said before, the company of certain women does make some men feel more masculine. So of course it is with pride. Men walk around and slap their chest and say it. They say, I please my woman. And they say it with passion. But it is in this pleasing, this desire you have to please her. You care about her and you want to see her happy. You want to see the smile that broke you down in the first place. You want to see that again to keep her smiling. But the desire to please a woman in so many ways is blinding. But let's get to some examples. Maybe she's in debt. Maybe it's a few bills you may want to help her with. Her phone bill, her internet, some food, groceries, eating out at restaurants, takeaways, maybe a car, some holidays, then the clothes, some shoes, maybe some jewelry. Because of course, diamonds are a girl's best friends, as dogs are ours. Now for as small as any individual one of those things may be, once it adds all up, it does make a difference once you add up all of those small little things. Some men have the money to do this, some don't. In this world of finance, of pay it later type schemes, renting things, whatever ways companies try to restructure the same thing basically, many men can and do fake the money. The US term, tricking, comes to mind, in which a man lets a woman use him for his wallet. So many, many men fake the funk until something slips. They lose their income, they fall into debt themselves, trying to trick on a woman or many women. Or they get injured or sick. Something that messes with the structure of the money flow, basically. Then the woman or women leave. My overall point to this one is I've seen so many men spend hard to impress a woman that eventually left them when one of the above happened. When something happened, when the money stopped. The women left, but the debt was still there. They still had to deal with the debt. So those fun times you had with her, they're now a memory. But in present reality, you're still paying for it. Is it worth it? See, using money to get women has been and will be the bane of men. Some say that's one and you can add many more, of course. But the reason I say that is the bane of men is because it already involves money and women. What do men fight over the most? Exactly. And a man with money and women seemingly has one other thing in the eyes of others. Power. There are many things women do, but still, a woman could always say she never asked you to do it. Using money to get the attention of women will always be a thing. Just never get yourself into debt to impress people that care little of you, little about you. I do wonder if more men are in debt due to failed relationships, marriages, or general tricking, more so than business, if more men are in debt due to the former than the latter. Is it because spending on women is the safer option or the easier one? At least in business, you're spending big on something that may increase in value over time. Here's to never taking big financial risks for something that may only bring temporary reward. Here's to men that understand tricking is a game played on yourself. It's not PC, but only Max can make money off tail. Like a laser. Focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.